Okay, today we're going to learn how to transfer files to our Motorola 431G. Uh, you don't have to have an SD card installed on the phone to do this. The phone does have about 50 megabytes that are built into it. So that's good enough for maybe a few pictures uh, and a couple of songs. I guess technically you could probably put up to like 10 songs or so. Um, uh, but if you want any more than that, you'll have to get a micro SD card and install it on the phone uh, you know if you want to have like a full playlist or whatever now to transfer the files uh, you will need uh, a standard uh, micro USB um, cable this one is just uh, this is just a Kindle cable if you have one of those uh, that'll work fine um, now before you you hook it up to your computer you make make sure the phone is turned off if it's not turned off um, your computer might not recognize it so uh, we'll go ahead and hook up the uh, the micro USB end to the phone and then we will hook up the uh, USB to our computer and uh, my computer here this one is a uh, Windows 7 uh, but it'll pretty much works the same on on any Windows or Mac um, Basically, once you plug it in uh, the phone, you'll get this. And then on your Windows machine, if that's what you're using, which most I'm sure most of you are, um, you'll get this remo a removable disk. Now, if you had a micro SD card installed, you will get two removable disks. Uh, one is the micro SD card, and the other is the internal memory. So, as you can see, uh, you know we have our, our removable disk here uh, on my computer it's F on your computer it may be uh, something other than F uh, so to transfer to transfer the files uh, we want to have uh, two two my computer screens open just to make it easy um, uh, here uh, this is this screen here I have my mp3s I'm gonna put a couple of songs on here uh, and here we just have a, a standard uh, my computer screen open so we'll go ahead and click on the uh, removable drive and now here you will see that we have uh, some pre-configured uh, uh, folders on the phone um, so we'll go ahead and put put the songs on this audio folder here again that's that's the phone that you saw uh, now it's just a matter of just dragging your files over from one screen to the other just like you would on uh, on any other thing when you're moving from one one uh, folder to the other on your computer so now uh, that's on the phone so we'll go ahead and disconnect the phone so we can make sure that our file was transferred so let's go ahead and turn the phone on so we can verify that our file was moved and we'll go ahead and play it so to locate it we go to menu then we want to go to uh, my folder now if you had a micro SD card you'll have another option here I don't have one on this phone so we're gonna go to the phone option which is our internal memory and again that has about 50 megabytes a little bit under 50 megabytes uh, of, of storage that comes with the phone so we'll select phone and then we'll pick open now we put it in our audio folder so we'll pick the audio and open that and as you can see there's there's our song so now we can either play it um, I'm not sure if we can use it as an mp3 it might be too long we'll go ahead and try if you wanted to um, use it as an as I'm sorry not an mp3 but as a ringtone rather we want, if you wanted it to use it as a ringtone you may need to make it a smaller file this is a full song so it, it might not work on the phone but uh, to use it as an mp3 we go to uh, use as and then we pick incoming call and actually it worked on this phone some of the other track phones they they won't use uh, such a large file but um, 
So that's it. Now if we wanted to play it, we can uh, either play it from here or we can go to our media player. Let's see if that finds it. Uh, let's go to all songs. No, that does. That's not finding it. So let's try this refresh library here. So yeah, so refreshing the library, as you can see, um, the phone will pick up our songs on its own. So now we could just play it. We just tap the selector here, play, and, and that's it.